Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking more at using multiple forms. Now, if you remember from the previous tutorial, we created an object of form 1, which is the default form that is created when you make a new project in Visual Basic. But what we can also do is create objects of other forms that are inside of our solution. So we'll come over here to the Solution Explorer. We can right-click multiple forms and we can add a Windows form. So we'll just leave it at default to form2.vb. We'll select Windows forms and we'll click add. So here is our form2. Let's just go ahead and add a label. We'll come over to our label properties and we will set the font to something a little bit bigger than 8.25. So we'll set it to about 22 and then we'll set the text value of it so the, the, we'll set the text to uh, I am a new form and we'll just center that okay so now we can go, come back into our form1.vb and we'll just comment out this code right here and we will create an object of our form2.vb class so we'll type declare or dimension um, my new form as new um, form 2 so we created an object of form 2 which is st stored in our solution now what we can do is type my new form dot show dialog and we'll just go ahead and run this and see what happens so if we click show new form you can see that we get this form right here that says I am a new form now you can see that it won't let us change back to the first form because we used the method show dialog. Now we can change that to show instead of show dialog, which will let us switch back and forth between each one of the forms so that we can change stuff inside of them. So go ahead and click show new form. You can see we get I am a new form right here. And you can see that we can switch back to form number one and form two, and we can use both of them and we can close out of that one and then close out of this one but here's something that I wanted to point out to you guys um, that we'll be learning how to fix in uh, other tutorials uh, later on so if you go ahead and run this you can see that if you click show new form right here it shows a new form but if you close out of this one it's gonna close out of both of them for you that's because both of these forms are running on what's called uh, the same thread now all programs run on a thread and um, programs can be created to run on multiple threads so that if one thread has been ended uh, the other threads won't be effective I mean affected um, so let's say you place um, form1.vb on a thread of its own and then when you create my new form you place that on a thread of its own so that if anything happens to the form1.vb thread uh, the form the my new form thread is going to still run like normal and it's not going to be affected by form1. VB closing. Now, what we can also do is we can uh, set some values of my new form. So, my new form dot, and whatever you see inside of the properties right here, you can set that uh, using code. So, we'll type my new form dot text equals hello. So, let's go ahead and run this. And you can see that if we click show new form, the text is hello. Now we can also do that by using the name. So we'll just go ahead and um, uncomment this right here. Or we'll just highlight it and then click uncomment. So now that we have our new name uh, and it's text new, new uh, form name dot text, let's go ahead and set the title of that. Uh, of our new form to the text that they typed into the box. So we'll just type new name right there. So let's go ahead and run this. So if we type in a name right here and click show new form, you can see that the name of the form uh, has the name that we typed in on the first form and we can switch back and forth between each of them. So go ahead uh, make a couple forms. You can have them uh, 
do actual computing like math problems and such uh, so and practice opening different forms uh, creating object of multiple forms in your program and then once you've done that go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching